Okay. Hey guys, it's Bia here, and today we're back with another video. So it's been a while, but here I am, back to entertain you guys. So what we're going to do today is a video which I had been uh, planning for the last... When did I find these flowers? I believe it's been like six months since I thought about doing this video. So what happened was, basically I had this uh, hibiscus flowers way back uh, towards the beginning of this year. And I thought, let me make a video on what will happen if you use these flowers to dye some fabric. Now, obviously, because I've been extremely busy, I have just left them to dry. But to be honest, that's what I was suggested in the comments. I'm leaving a comment right here of the person who um, has left this message. So if you guys have any more ideas on other materials and other things we can use to dye fabric, please leave them in the comments below and I will try out for you guys. So I've actually let them um, basically come to their end and they have been deteriorating for months on end. Uh, now that does not mean that it's not going to work. Hopefully it will still be fine but it will help us with our little experiment because nothing has really happened to them. They've just been in this plastic bag for ages. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the techniques from this video to basically dye these flowers. So the first thing you're going to need is your bowl, you're going to need your fabric samples, and you're going to need your flowers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, ooh, did I not clean this properly? Right, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to get your fabric and you're going to get some salt. So, this is what we're going to use. We're going to use some salt. We're going to put it in here. And uh, we're going to then put the fabric on. Uh, okay, that should be enough. So the reason why I put salt is because the salt is actually meant to help the fabric absorb the color of the flowers or whatever you're trying to dye the fabric with. So that's why we're going to keep that as a standard. Now, I did not really count how much is in there, but you guys can see, hopefully, what's inside. Um, and then that's going to help us dye the fabric. So what we have here is essentially, this is hemp. So this is made of um, wheat. Um, this is, I believe, a mix between a cotton and an elastic material. So maybe elastane. This is completely... Um, synthetic so probably some sort of plastic this is alpaca fur this is your standard calico again more cotton in various ways this is a thicker um, mix and i believe is also mixed with something else probably last thing again this is organic silk and this is bamboo so this is the nicest feeling one but it's also the most difficult one to use when you're sewing so we're going to use all of these and we're going to dye them all together in our bath made with flowers. And the other thing we're going to be using is this big boy. We're going to use it to cook. Can you see us in there? <laughs> okay. So we're going to use this big pot and we're going to be um, baking the flowers. So grab your kettle and fill. And boil. Yeah, boy. So next thing you're going to do, you're going to get your fabric and you're going to drop it in your mix of salt and uh, boiling water just to get it kind of soaking, to get it going. And you're going to get a wooden spoon to mix it all together. And just let everything kind of mix together and let it all soak up. And to be honest, if all of the salt melts in this water, I'm going to put some more. I'm going to put it on maximum and then I'm just going to let these um, heat up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop all the water that we put on the, um, on the bowl with the fabric in here. And we're just going to let everything kind of soak up and we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay, put the camera on me. 
Right guys, so what you're gonna do after this has been sitting for 10 minutes is you're going to pour it onto there and then you're gonna just let it, um, what is that word? Disintegrate? No. Blend? Simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer. <laughs> ah! Okay, so. That's a very epic shot, isn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, so basically what we're going to do, because there isn't a lot of fabric, there isn't a lot of fabric we're just going to let it say on like a low um low amount of water and then later on if you feel like it's drying up we'll add a bit more and uh let's just hope that these flowers still have some color to give because if they don't this video is going to be a complete fail and we're not going to post it so if you're watching this that means it's not a complete fail sorry sorry for spoiling your video experience bye we'll get back to you in the next 20 minutes just be like doo -doo. Pa, 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 pa. are you gonna do it mm -hmm. so whilst you guys wait for it to cook you can actually See, I'm a genius. I'm a fashion designer, musician, everything. <laughs> Album coming soon. Make me more. Everything that you've been waiting for will happen now. Are you ready? To be honest, that's actually not bad. So it's actually releasing some color. You can see. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So from what you can see, the flowers are releasing some sort of color. Obviously, it's not red. You know, his hibis hib hibiscus flowers are <laughs> meant. To, uh, naturally uh this red color so i don't know if this is something we should be expecting but i guess after we make enough videos we should know what's going to happen and what's not going to happen when we do these kinds of experiments so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to let it sit there for longer and see how much this is going to um, absorb uh the color of the flowers uh, and yeah but from what you can see I mean, this is expected. The plastic one has barely absorbed anything. And where is the alpaca? The alpaca <laughs> has absorbed some of it. It's getting a bit darker. But what we need to do is it just need to, we need to let it sit here. We need to let it simmer. And we're just going to be waiting for another 20 minutes. So keep watching. All right, let's have a look at the state of this. Oh my god. I think we're grilling it. We started grilling it. We need more water. Shoot. See? All those push-ups. Man. You guys are gonna see me. I'm gonna have gains by the end of this video. Okay. I think we started like this could have set on fire. Well. I don't know if that was 20 minutes, but it's definitely at least 10 minutes of trash. Alright, let's put a timer for Alright, 15 it is. So guys, we're gonna um, open it up again. We're gonna see how it is. And if the water is almost gone, we're going to basically take it out and put it back onto the pink thing. And then we're just gonna let it rest and soak up. So let's take this off and see how it's going. Oh shoot. It's like gone, gone. It's like the only thing left is salt. Let's just, for some reason it smells like popcorn. I think now we've maxed it out and it like can't do anything else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it in the um, the pink bowl and then we're going to let it rest because the next thing that's going to happen here is the salt literally the only thing left on the sides is salt so let's take it off and we'll see what happens guys I wish you could smell what we can smell but it literally smells like popcorn so if you ever want popcorn but you can't afford popcorn 
get these flowers and boil them. And look what is happening. Look at the science. It's chemical reactions. I love it. All right, let's, let's take it off before it's too late. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> So I actually feel like this is kind of a fail because it doesn't actually give you that much color. So guys, please tell me in the comments below if I have done something wrong, if it was meant to be fresh flowers or if this is just a um, really weak plant to use for dyeing fabric. So as you can see, only a few of them have really absorbed a bit of um, color and everything else is kind of um, dull um so yeah if you have any suggestions for something that's going to be even more impactful or something that's going to give us a bright, brighter color or something you want me to experiment with please let me know in the comments below and i will do it for you guys but this is your result so this is what it what it looks like when you dye fabric with that flower that hibiscus flower so yeah whoever um told me to do that um i hope you guys had other things in mind but this is the results and Hope you guys take it into account if you ever try to do this, if you want to try and use this plant to dye your clothes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!